What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Jingle, 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 jingle. This is heart centered. I like this one. Yeah, what's up? I spent a whole lot of something on a whole lot of nothing, investing my time in things that just won't change. I put my pointer down, no more fingers turned around. Got my eyes on a prize that will set me free. So with each laid plan, just become the better man. Get my focus tuned in. Time to chisel that stone. I'll make a work of me. I'll be the best that I can be. It's no longer about the nothing. This time my heart is creating something. Oh yeah, what's up? What's going on? Jace Jacobs here, what's up? It's a, whew, it's a nice Saturday today. Enjoying it, got the sunbeams. And you know, I do, I love, I love these words. It's, um, it's no longer about the nothing. My, this time my heart is creating something. What's your heart creating? You know, those of you that are creators, raise your hand, you're a creator. Are you creating because it's coming out of you from your heart? Or are you creating because um, you're looking for approval? Are you creating because you, um, you want people to like you? Are you creating because it's fun? What? There's a number, of, there's no wrong or right reason, but there's multiple reasons why you're probably creating. Uh, I create because it feels good, and I create because there's some people that my words actually help me. And so I have fun doing that. I put it out there. I create because I think it just feels normal to me, like natural. I hear words, I make up words in my head and I just, I write them down. If I don't write them down, I lose them. <laughs> Is that ever happened to you? Who's the writer here? Is that ever happened to you that if you don't write the words down, they just, they're gone. The next day you think, oh yeah, that was just, I came up with something cool, but you can't remember it, right? You gotta write it down. So I like to think of it as, um, you know, I write it down and set it free, get it out into the universe. Uh, and that's, um, if you're a creator, if you're, yeah, any any creator, once you release it out into the universe, that's part of your legacy too. Yeah. Because someday in the future, somebody, whether it's a relative, somebody else, they may start looking back and trying to figure out who you are, what you stood for, what you were all about. And they could discover that in your words or your creation, whatever it may be. Maybe you're an artist, a painter, whatever it is. There's tons of different ways to be a creator, right? <laughs> you know, they'll discover it and see that, hey, that's part of you. That's part of your legacy. I guess parents are creators too when you create kids. That's part of your legacy as well. So, raise your hand if you're a parent, yeah. <laughs> Not the easiest job in the world, is it? Yeah. So I'm a creator. I like to put stuff out there. I'm not asking for anything in return. And you know, and sometimes that can be challenging because you want to make sure, what am I trying to say here is there's different ways that you can get feedback, right? You can go viral. Someone must like something about it or they like laughing at you or something, right? <laughs> they, and so that's one way. You can start building up a community. That's, that's another way. Uh, you could have um, sales driven off of if you're an author, like a writer, and you put a book out there, you can have sales. And I think the tricky thing is, is, is what, if, what if you're not getting any of that stuff back? Now it could be, it could be that it's not interesting to anybody. Could be that. Or it could be that there's so much out there these days that unless you do something stupid or um, amazingly over the top good, uh, not many people share it. And so you won't um, be seen by the masses. You won't go viral. Does that make sense? And so that's when it's challenging. That's when you got to go back or, or someone like me, uh, because I, I don't go viral. I don't have a huge following. Uh, I have just a, a few people and I'm not, um, I'm not focusing on the scarcity. What I do, someone like me, what I do is I try to think about 
okay. Yeah, there is some data available, and the data says that mm, a handful of people are interested. <laughs> and, and, and most of them are probably just my friends that, that just like me, maybe aren't as into my content. Or, you know, so you can focus on that, or you can focus on, you know what, if it feels good, if it feels good to create and put out there, then that's what you should focus on. That's the bucket I fall into is, I know that the data is not there. I'm a data guy, you know, I do I do data at work. And so the data paints a picture and tells a story. And so I do understand data and I do respect data. And the data, at least the data available to me right now is saying that, uh, uh, there's just not, there's not that much interaction. There's not that much, uh, what am I saying? Uh, specifically on YouTube, there's not that much. It's just a few of my friends that are watching. That's about it. There's nobody new. In fact, I, I lose subscribers in the last couple of years. I've, I think I've lost, um, four or 500 subscribers, something like that. And, uh, so I don't, I don't gain subscribers. I just lose them and I'm not getting a lot, bunch of uh, watch time. Now, uh, I'm not uh, painting a sad story. I'm just put, putting out the, I'm just talking about the data so I don't need anybody to feel sorry for me, <laughs> you know? So, cause I think it's about what feels good. And to me, what feels good is just to write some words. And what feels good is to uh, speak them in a rhythm. And what feels good is to release that out into the world. And then what feels good is to know that maybe there's just one person out there. Does. So I do at least get that. I get a handful of people that reach out to me all the time that my words are helping them. If I didn't get that, if I didn't at least get that, then the data would be telling me, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Maybe you're just annoying people. Uh, so at least I get some people that are reaching out to me and saying that the, my words are really helping them and that uh, they tune into me because they feel better after they, they listen to me. And maybe they just uh, want to hang out. And I'm cool with that too. I'd love to hang out with you. So uh, why am I telling you all this? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just saying that I don't know what brought that up. Basically just, I have no clue why I brought up any of that. Again, I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. I think, uh, I think it's just about what comes out of your heart right create from your heart maybe that's why i brought it up is at least that's the approach that i'm taking is i'm going to create from my heart and i'm going to put that out there and i'm not going to expect anything in return and if i roll that way i think everything's gonna be cool uh, <laughs> it'd be completely different if i was expecting like you know, viral or something like that, I'd be pretty disappointed because like I said, it just hasn't, it hasn't happened for me. So anyway, uh, I did not want to turn this into something sad and depressing, uh, heart centered, focus on the heart, create from your heart. That's, that's the message here. Not sad. Jace has no views, no, no viral videos. That's not what this is about. No, no, I didn't mean to go there on that. So just, uh, create from the heart. That's my message. I, and, and put something out there that feels good to you because we're all different, right? And if it feels good to you, then roll with it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm Jace Jacobs. Appreciate everything. Love fully, need nothing. Namaste, my friend. High five, knuckles. Later. Zero, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother...